Welcome back everybody, Seven Minutes for Seniors. I'm Chris with Kelly. This is our fifth segment. So if you've been watching, you've been watching her wearing the same dress for five days in a row. <laughs> I somehow haven't grown any facial hair in five days and I'm still wearing the same green shirt. So there you go. <laughs> you don't have many clothes. <laughs> no, no. Um, so this segment is, I always end my day thinking about what tomorrow and the future, you know, just always thinking about forecasting instead of dwelling on what today was thinking about tomorrow right so um i always always like to give people the opportunity who do you who would you want to meet both or separately personally and professionally mm. i'd probably love to meet tony robbins um, Why? so when i first started listening to some tony robbins work he was he's so big and gregarious and he was just almost too intense for me but when you really start to learn about some of his principles both from just a personal standpoint how do you live your life and maximize your life but then from a business perspective how do you maximize your business and add the most value you get past that big personality and you start to realize there's a reason the biggest uh, billionaires in the world state department heads are reaching out to tony um He's just full of knowledge and he's really good at kind of pulling things down to what's most important in life. And so he talks a lot about health mm -hmm. and starting with your own personal health first. Um, but I just think I could learn a lot from him and I like, I love learning. So I think he would be just somebody I would love to just sit in a room with and absorb and not have it be on a big stage where there's, you know, hundred thousand right. people, but just a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him would be really Really so cool. this would be your personal and professional both thing, right? because he just manages both spaces pretty well yeah yeah no other oh my gosh there's tons of people um mel robbins is another one i would funny that they're both Some robins, robins. they're not bring, they're not related just gonna bring a bunch of robins just and... bring them all for, <laughs> um she's another person she's been through some crazy life you know cycles and I think anybody who's gone through hard stages in their life, you can learn a lot from. Um, and she's just, uh, re again, really good at kind of making really complex ideas and, and problems really simplified. Mm -hmm. And so I would love to learn from her. <sighs> Let's see, who else? There's so many. Um, John hey, Maxwell's another one, oh, right? Like, who's that? He writes, he's a, he's a business coach as well. Okay. And so I just love... I love learning from people. So anybody who I feel like, and there's just so many people, I mean, I pretty much pick any business owner in this world. I'd love to sit down with yeah. them because everybody's been through such different experiences. And when you can just hear their stories and learn from them, I think it's pretty amazing. So That's cool. Yeah. All right. Now, now to the forecasting part, where do you see yourself in five years? Hmm. Myself or the business? either both well five none, years whatever. from now i won't have any kids at home well i don't know if that's true anymore these days technically i will have five you shouldn't have a need high you shouldn't school. have a need for anything <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so in my mind that means i get to travel a lot more, okay um which will be fun i would love to be able to travel the u.s travel the world or so many like places an RV or i would do... love to get an rv yeah. and travel around yeah. the, in an rv I think I, I could see Clint and I in this kind of cool little motorhome type, mm -hmm. you know, fifth wheel or something and, and be able to explore the United States. There's so many different areas that I haven't seen that I would love to just go and actually enjoy some time. Right. Um, but then I'd like to go overseas. I've spent a lot of time in Europe, but I would love to go into South America, to Africa, to some other continents and, and just get to know the cultures and people and experience life with them do that while you're young right yeah everybody says they're going to do it when they get older and then their wings get clipped because yeah. something changes in life like a fall yeah we want to prevent we're, which we're trying to prevent yeah right so five years you're traveling yeah. business is good yeah i mean i would love to be able to know at that point maybe we've been able to expand and have more people on the team to be able to help others um really be able to maximize their homes and so I, I would love to see it where maybe we're even outside of just the Jacksonville area and expanding more into to other locations in Florida, which would be cool. All right. 
And then, okay, so now let's double that. Let's go to 10 years. Where are you in 10 years? Oh, 10 years. Okay, so let's see how old am I going to be? Probably still 39. not retired because I'm going to be only 38. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know that I see, see it much different. I, I don't anticipate stopping work, which I know sounds weird, but when mm. you find something you're super passionate about, I can imagine that I'll still be working at some level. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I have people doing a lot more of the, the work and I get to just be there to really assist and make sure that we're taking care of our clients. Um, but I would still be love to travel. I would really love to be able to have a boat by then mm. and spend a good portion of the time on the boat, oh. living on the boat and traveling. Really? Yeah. So not full, have, not full have, time. You don't have emotion sickness. No, or, no. no. Well, it, it, it can happen if it's too rocky, but yeah. for the most part, no. Um, and, but I would love to be able to have a boat just even for a couple of months out of the year yeah. and be able to get up, maybe up into Maine and to like the Northeast. There's oh, some okay. just gorgeous areas up there. And I would love to be able to take a boat up there during you know the best times of the year and get back out of there in the right. winter. Yeah. Take Clint with you. Yeah. He's allowed to come. He's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> he's allowed. <laughs> Well, awesome. We're going to share everything about how to contact you and everything like that coming up. Um, this has been Seven Minutes for Seniors. I'm Chris. This is Kelly. I appreciate you so much. You. Uh, I'm so excited to hit stop on the recording button because that means that we get to go see a client now. I know. And that's exciting. So thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy. Please go check out cncofjacks.com, right? Good. And uh, really, really look into the Renovate to Sell program. It's, it's, it's a very big deal. And I'm very excited to, to have you as a friend and a, and a partner in this. This is cool. Thank there you. Go. Thanks Nailed for having it. me. All right. See you all later. Kelly, would you share with everybody your phone number, name of the company, website, everything like that? Give them all the details. Sure. So it's CNC Construction. So C Nancy, right? So CNC Construction. And it's cncofjacks.com is our website. And my number is 760-522-5117. Any social media that you want to share with them or anything? Not no? right now. Not right now? <laughs> it's still in progress. Nothing, nothing on social media. Not, it is, but it's not pretty. So it's better just to go to the website at this point.